Hi and welcome to Access Club Membership Registration System and this is it so all I just need to do is click on add record and we can add the new details in there and let's say the name of this very person is let's say Lucky Lucky Rocky and address 12 3 town code that should be 8 and telephone number and the day is today's date and there we go that's for lucky rocky and there uh, all we just need to do is to update our record here and that's it and uh, what i'm going to do now is take you straight to access microsoft access and we put one of these together let's do that now guys hi and welcome to access tutorial of our club member registration system i'm going to start by clicking on the blank database and let's give the system a name. I'm going to call that registration. And save that straight onto my document. Great. And there we go. So I'm going to save this. Let's save the table as registration. Right. There we go. Now let's close this and right click on this registration table, select design view and there I'm going to give that a name, let's call it reference number, number. and I'm going to change this to shots, I'm going to get rid of the primary key, the next thing is let's give that a name and the saw name. followed by address postcode let's say telephone that can be mobile number whatever that might be and the next one is going to be date register Let's just call it the trade and proof of proof of ID membership type then we have membership membership fees there the date I'm going to change that to date and time change the data type to date and time and I think that will be all let's see membership type let's change that to currency there we go and I think there might be default there yeah okay pound sign that's fine and mem membership type Okay, let's come straight to look up and change the membership type to the following. We might have annual membership. So let's come in here. You see where we have the role source. The role source there is going to be let's say annual annual member. That should be in a Let's put that in a quote. And then another quote here. I'm just going to call that monthly. Remember. Then let's say we have yearly member. And yearly. Okay. I know member yearly member. I think it's the same thing. Let's change this to something else. 
Uh, that might just be guest membership. There. Okay, that three is good enough for me. And here where we have the road source type, maybe we should change that to. I think that's going to be in the, on the table anyway. No, let's come in here. View. There. And what else? We need that to prove. Coming to coming here, let's change this to combo box as well and change this to view list. And here, that is going to be driving license. Try that again driving license. Then let's go for student ID. Student ID. Then let's go for pilot license. And yeah, what else do we need? Let's go for passport. Right, that thing that we do. Yeah, so. Alright. Maybe for the membership fee, let's come in here and just change that to annual fee of, let's see, default value. Let's just go for maybe 45. Right, I'm going to save this. And let's see if we open up the table close that and then view the table right that is it there okay let's close that now and go to create and let's select form form create see it form create that let you enter information for one record at a time so let's use that All right there guys this is how it looks like so what I'm going to do is let me right click here and go to design view there and I'm going to select all of these and just maybe enhance it a little bit yeah and one more just come in here drag I think that should do Okay, so let's come in here and right and just drag this that much. Okay, I'm now gonna go up here and just add. Let's go to design. I'm now I'm gonna add a list box. There we go, that's a list box. Okay, draw that that much and just bring it down. I'm gonna say no cancel that because I will populate it myself okay that, that should do about that okay now let's go back there and just select okay bring it down I'm going to select some buttons okay so let's come in here click on buttons need try that again and that is going to be for let's select go to next record yeah that's fine I'll just call it CMD next next okay and what about previous right click on the button and let's select the card item there we go this very one yeah ok 
to add record okay then add record and let's say add new there we go now i'm going to need a button to add information here yeah I think I'm gonna need about three more, four more actually. And then that's to add the information on here. So I'm gonna cancel that, just give it my own name. Let's say add record. No. Update. Update. Yeah, update is fine. Now no three more really okay move this somewhere here okay, add another one this other one will be for the toolbar cancel that so that's going to be for toolbar tool toolbar yes and toolbar no so we can copy this very button I'll just come in here add another one. So cancel. That's gonna be two bar. No. Then we need one more for exit. In the case of exit, I think we can get that in here. Or maybe I just write that myself. Let's see which one do I want just to close the form, so I just close the form oh. let's see quit application okay we select quick application if we don't like it I'll just clear it all and enter my own code on it so let's say quit application click next cmd quit going to work on enhancing the look of this interface okay this is how it all looks and as this seems to have more space in here more room so I'm gonna move that and come in here into quick application there and toolbar there okay I'm gonna have to work on the interface it looks pretty rough right now and this one maybe just get rid of that and just call it previous and next okay. so i can have enough room okay and all of these here just to for the sake of enough room so i'm going to select it all and just modify the whole appearance yeah let's say something like that and this one has the list box so it's list box 32 okay i'm going to delete that anyway i don't need it that's supposed to be the tidy title so move this here so we just right click and see how it all looks like and we just try and enhance it then uh, we can start coding then Let's see come on yeah there we go that's how it looks so for now guys this is how it all looks and with that i'm going to call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial and i'll get back to you guys shortly